Durango has a new sister city. Hello, I'm Dean Brookie, Mayor and Durango City Councilor. Council Connection is designed to give you a snapshot of the happenings at the most recent Durango City Council meeting. This time we look at the June 15th meeting. This meeting began with the proclamation to establish a sister city relationship between Durango and Cham Tong, Nepal. Cham Tong is the birthplace of Carmen Botia, owner of the Himalayan Kitchen in Durango. He has hosted several trips for area groups to the Nepalese community of 600 people. On the most recent trip to the remote village last fall, a group from Durango assisted in starting the construction of a new grade school. Today, for this reason, is this is my vision and my dream. When I have traveled uh, three different continental, Asia, Europe, and America. And Durango has the highest positive energy and kindness person in the world. And so that's why my request is to become sister city with the Durango and my birthplace of Champtang. Its reason is that area sooner or later will become a city. We're different worlds, but we do actually have a lot in common. Um, you know, they're a, a mountain city, we're a mountain city that's actually, Chiamtong is about the same elevation. It's about 1,000 feet higher, I think 7,600 feet. Um, sometimes they feel isolated. They are a, a long way from their, you know, we're a long way from Denver. They're a long way from, from their, their state government and, and their national government as well. I think it's a great opportunity for a cultural exchange here. Um, these are, you know, just fantastic people that, that I got to know a little bit in a month. It's, they, they deserve a lot, any help we can give them. They're hardworking, they're tough, they're strong, they put me to shame time after time after time. I placed before the commencement of this meeting an invitation from Shem Tong Nepal on your desk. I want this council to be aware of the fact that Chum Tong has already extended the hand of friendship to Durango and an invitation to become its sister city. So your decision tonight is really a response to their gesture of uh, goodwill. Sister city programs are designed to encourage exchanges in arts, culture, youth, and education, business, trade, community development, and more. The consent agenda is intended to allow City Council, by a single motion, to approve matters that are considered routine or non-controversial. There is usually no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or a citizen requests the item be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. There were seven items on this consent agenda, including one approving an Energy Impact Assistance Fund grant for the wastewater treatment plant improvements. One million dollars has been awarded to Durango to help cover the estimated two million dollar cost of design and engineering of those improvements. A lot of research remains on whether to upgrade the existing plant or to build a new one, with the funding question expected to go before the voters next year. All the items on the consent agenda were approved. There were two quasi-judicial public hearings at this meeting. The first was for a minor subdivision of a lot at 3165 West 3rd Avenue into two smaller lots. The proposal generated lengthy discussion over the inadequacy of narrow West 4th Avenue, drainage problems, a lack of continuous sidewalks in the area, and more. Eventually, the council approved the proposal with some added restrictions. The second hearing dealt with plans for a new La Quinta Inn and Suites Hotel. The proposal calls for a three-story, 96-room hotel. It will be located on the vacant land near the Mercury Payment Headquarters building south of the Durango Mall and across from the Allen Theaters. This is, uh, and this was part of your agenda documentation, this is an elevation of the uh, proposal. And again, it's consistent with what you saw at the conceptual plan stage. It's really nicely designed uh, project that we think is going to be a real uh, benefit to the community and does meet all of the design requirements. The Durango Mall wants to say that they're welcoming uh, the La Quinta project as a, a good neighbor and a real addition to the community. And I would also like to say we really appreciated the uh, cooperation and patience of uh, Craig Roser working with both the mall and uh, the La Quinta people to get to this. Uh, I think it's a really good 
collaborative uh, result. A ceremonial groundbreaking for the hotel has already been held. During the meeting, counselors also mentioned several events you might find interesting. Among these, leaders from the Ute Mountain Ute and Southern Ute Indian tribes have been invited to participate in the Durango 4th of July parade. The parade is at 6 p.m. and will cap off a day of activities. Councilor Rinderley also pointed out the Fort Lewis Small Business Development Center's 6th Annual Women's Small Business Conference will be Wednesday, July 29th, beginning at 7.30 p.m. More information can be found online at sbdcfortlewis.org. And that's Council Connection for the June 15th Durango City Council meeting. I'm City Councilor and Mayor Dean Brookie. Thanks for joining us, and remember, you can always contact your city councilors via email at citycouncil at durangogov.org.